So lots of you may have old knickknacks you've collected over the years, but do you ever wonder if those old trinkets are worth anything? News 19's Lana Harris takes us to the South Carolina State Museum Roadshow, where residents put a price to relics. We've all seen them. This is a six shooter that my great grandfather had. That old necklace passed down from grandma. All I can tell you is it was my great aunt. The trinket you're pretty sure came from your dad's grandfather. You know, 40 years probably about we've had these paintings in the family. The things you packed away and never gave much thought. Pulled their television out and that just dropped out from behind the TV. Yeah. Well, what if those old hand me down items were worth something? There's that possibility that this could be something valuable. Lots of folks poured into the South Carolina State Museum to find out. There have been all kinds of things over the years. Celeste Wazola with the museum says people wait year round for this event. People can find out more about the objects they have, whether they're antiques or their family heirlooms or just something they picked up at a yard sale. I just don't know anything about it. What was thought to be a family jewelry box had a former life. It was made in 1860, way before it came to your family. It started its life as a spice box, as for sugar. I am amazed. <laughs> 14-year-old collector Matthew Ployhart's got an authentic shell with trench art from World War One. Very nice. Very That's nice. Good. Just goes to show, you never know what might be a diamond in the but rough. It gives them an idea of what it's worth, and if they want to sell it, they can pursue it through other means. If this inspired you to gather your antiques for an appraisal, the Roadshow will be back next January.